my goal for this market is to make. Um, so that was a complete fail. And I ended up making my goal for the day, I think. <laughs> but that market went so, so well this weekend. There's always some really fun vendors with like cool art. I balance it out between the two days. I ended up making eight. Vlog. I'm just realizing now how awkward this thing is. This is where my paper cutter is sitting. So just like a giant pole. I'm gonna move it because I feel weird about that. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel. My name is Hannah if you're new around here. Nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting that button because any tiny support that you can show me goes a long way for my small business. I run a stationery store where I hand create most of the products myself I'm based off all of my illustrations and the designs. And then full time, I'm actually a 3D artist working for an eyewear company and I work from home as well doing that. So my days are very busy, but of course I decided doing YouTube videos would also be fun. So I threw that on my plate and that's why this channel exists. So welcome. I'm a little bit chaotic right now. I know I'm talking really fast and I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> the reason for that is because we are about to go set up for this weekend's market and I'm still doing a lot of market prep right now. It's actually the night before the market. The market is tomorrow, today's Friday, and it's a two day market. It's gonna be running on Saturday and Sunday and it's held in kind of like this aviation museum. I've done a market here before with these people multiple times and usually it's a pretty good turnout. It's like a geeky theme. So there's always some really fun vendors with like cool art and like fan art, stuff like that um, of the geeky genre, I guess you could say. I wouldn't really say my work is very geeky, but it is like kind of cutesy stuff that just people tend to like from this kind of crowd. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a really great weekend. But as I said, I'm just doing some last minute prep. Most of my stuff is ready to go. There's just like, I have to package a lot of stuff and then round the corners for a lot of my sticker sheets still. Um, and then I still have to make some magnets. I'm trying to look around and like see if I'm forgetting anything. I think those are the main things, but like I said, we're actually gonna go set up now together because they allow you to come the night before the Saturday to set up all your stuff so you don't have to come super early on the Saturday morning, which I really like that. Then I can have like a nice slow morning tomorrow and if I forget anything, I can just bring it and be a little bit more relaxed. So yeah, I'm gonna go now because I actually don't have that much time. I'll bring some products, but I don't think I'm gonna bring everything because I'm still working on stuff like some stuff right now. We'll bring the products tomorrow for the actual market, um, but I'm gonna get the table all set up with like all the fixtures and display stuff. And I'm gonna try and film. I brought this tripod. I bought this tripod and I'm gonna try and like do a time-lapse of me setting up. I don't know, I might get too scared and I might be too embarrassed to film, but I'm gonna see if I have the courage and <laughs> I guess we'll find out in like five seconds if I actually did film it. But yeah, thanks again so much for being here. Sorry that I'm so chaotic and all over the place right now. That's just, my brain is literally running like a thousand thousand miles per minute um but i'm really excited and without further ado let's just get into the video all right so we're off we're all packed up it really wasn't too much to pack up because i'm bringing the products tomorrow um and this place is not too far away i think it's like a 10 minute drive so i'm gonna see you when we get there because it's unsafe to film while you're driving I hope this is a decent angle. I feel like it's bad. Guys, um, so that was a complete fail. I did not use my tripod. I was way too awkward. I don't know when I'm gonna get over this whole like filming in public thing. There were actually a lot of people setting up in there. So I think if there were less people around me then I maybe would have done it. Like I was thinking if there's no one like next to me, I'll set it up on their table. 
but everyone was setting up and I felt super uncomfortable. So obviously I didn't do it. Okay, guys, one day, one day I hope I will. But you saw my table. I got all the main things kind of set out. I'm sort of sure with how I'm going to set things up tomorrow. Not 100, to be honest. Like, it's been a really long time since I've had a table this big. So I am I was, like, kind of shocked with all the space. And I'm like, I almost have too much space because the last couple times I've gotten used to, like, building up, like I was saying. So I'm hoping I'll make it work. I'm sure I will. I always do. Um, <laughs> but I don't have much time now to finish my prep because tonight I'm going to a soccer game and yeah, after that, I don't know how much energy I'm going to have, but I want to get those things done that I was talking about before. So I'm going to head home and try to be productive and then yeah, we'll see you when I see you. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I'm actually editing the video right now for tomorrow, AKA today for you guys um but i thought i would just kind of put a little video in there i want to put this idea out there and ask you a question about what you think about me starting a patreon account if you don't know what patreon is it's essentially like a membership service where you pay a small fee um and then you get something in return whether it's a digital reward or like a mail reward like a sticker club type thing um, or it could be behind the scenes footage, it could be digital assets, like there's so many different possibilities and I've been thinking about it for a while. I do know that people suggest not starting a Patreon account until you have like a larger amount of followers and I still have a smaller amount, which is great. Like I'm still really happy with where I'm at. My goal is to hit 500 YouTube subscribers soon and I'm really close to that goal. Um, but I don't know, I kind of thought like, there's no time like the present. It'd be kind of a good idea to start putting the thought out there. Please let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea, if you have any advice surrounding the subject of Patreon, if you have any experience with starting your own Patreon account. And yeah, just honestly, let, let's start a conversation. I would appreciate any comments, any input that you guys have, any questions, just let me know down below. And I want, to, I want to seriously start thinking about this as a potential thing that I could I could bring to the table for you guys. If you want to have like extra content, exclusive, exclusive content, exclusive products, things like that. So yeah, I'm excited about the possi possibility. I'm not sure when it's going to start, but I, I want the idea to start, you know, growing into something more. So that's it from me for now. I'm going to let you get back into the video. I hope you're liking it so far. This was a really fun market. Um, and yeah. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs>
and I'm excited. I think it's going to be a really great day. I'm probably going to leave in like half an hour or so. Um, I'm not feeling too rushed, which is nice. So yeah, my goal for this market is to make oh, like $400 each day. I don't know if that's going to be too high of a goal or too little of a goal. Um, but that's what I'm, I think I'm going to settle in at $400 each day. I heard a lady talking yesterday when I was setting up. She was like talking to another vendor and she was telling her, I'll be happy if I make $500. And I was like, ooh, I kind of want to make more than that because I want to make like that much each day. So I'm hoping that I'm not being too optimistic. Maybe this is her first time doing that market. That's why she wasn't sure like what to expect. I do know there's a lot of other markets happening around the city today. Like another really popular one is happening but it's a little bit further away and it's kind of a different demographic. So I think we'll be okay. You can never tell when you're doing markets, like so many things can affect how many people show up. Not to mention like if people are actually buying stuff, like I know grocery prices are up, gas prices are up. You can't expect people to just be spending tons of money at a market on little trinkets and little art items. Um, so it is, it's always a little bit tricky. You never know what to expect. And it's like, like I said, it's a gloomy day today. So I don't know if that's going to make people come inside or if it's going to make people stay home and not even get in their cars. So we'll see, we'll find out. I'm going to keep you guys updated and take you along for the ride. And, um, hopefully you enjoy all the footage I get. Yes. So I think I'm going to stop talking now and head out pretty shortly. So here we go. I just got home from day one at the market. Um, I was gonna get McDonald's, but then I think I have plans now to go to a board game cafe. So I'll get food on the way or there. I don't know, I've never been before. I don't know if there's food there. Um, <laughs> so the market was actually pretty good. Wait, is my screen dirty? The market was actually pretty good. It was kind of slow-ish. Like it was slow, but it was steady at the same time. Like there was a lot of people just dispersed throughout the building, kind of walking around. Um, and I ended up making my goal for the day. I think I made over my goal. My overall impressions are that it was really good. I was surrounded by some pretty fun vendors. So I was having some nice chats throughout the day. So that was lovely. That always helps. Um, I wish it was a little bit busier because I did get really bored and tired in the middle there. Um, I might have to bring more food for tomorrow because whenever I like whenever I'm hungry or like not snacking I think I get bored and then a little bit tired quicker um but yeah I'll go over more of the money stuff obviously at the end tomorrow we're hoping to have better weather so I'm hoping that maybe more people will come out but again you can't really predict or control these things so we're just gonna go with it um as long as I hit my goal tomorrow too I'll be pretty happy but yeah it was a good first day so you know 
we'll take it. Hey guys, good morning. I'm just about to head into the market for day two. I'm gonna keep this kind of short um, just because I wanna get in there and start kind of like looking at all the other vendors before the market opens and get my stuff ready. But I'm hoping for a really good day. The weather is stunning. It's a bit cloudy, but the sun is out, so that's really nice. Um, and I'm feeling good, so let's have a great day. sister-in-law is like very into Legos. Actually, both of them are. I wonder if she'd like something. Alright, hi guys! I'm filming this on my cat's cat tree, so I really hope she doesn't decide that she wants to jump up here because then we're going to have an issue. <laughs> but that market went so, so well this weekend. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I am going to go over my final numbers of what I made this weekend. Firstly, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the table for the weekend was 165 Canadian dollars. That was for the Saturday, Sunday. With the table already set up, it was an eight foot table. You just had to bring like um, a cover and everything. And we also got to set up early on Friday night too. So we had like a little extra time at the venue, which I love so much. It just makes it so much less pressure when you go in on Saturday. So that cost was 165. And then I did end up spending some money like on a coffee here and there. And I did buy some stuff at this market because I could not help myself. There's so many cute vendors with so many cute things. Um, the artists were just unreal and I got to meet some people that I follow on Instagram. I got to meet them in person so that was kind of cool too. I was being a little geek myself. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to include the purchases I made like as a shopper or that iced coffee that I bought here and there just because those are things that I'd spend my money on anyways. And like the gas to drive there and stuff, I'm not going to include that. But essentially on the first day I ended up selling $463, which is amazing. My goal was to sell 400 each day. So I surpassed my goal that day. The second day on Sunday, I ended up selling 371. So I was really, really close to reaching 400 on that day too. But if you kind of balance it out between the two days, I ended up making $834, which is $34 more than my goal of $800 for the weekend. So I am so, so happy with that. Of course, we take away the table cost of $165 and we get $669 for the weekend, which I like, obviously I would love to make tons and tons of money, <laughs> but realistically just, um, I am really, really happy. Like I can't stop smiling. I appreciate every single person who came out to support me and all the other vendors. And yeah, like it would be great to make a thousand dollars at one of these events. I think that's my next goal but I'm very happy with where I'm at. I don't wanna seem like I'm ungrateful with the money that I made because I know I talk a lot about my goals and how I'd love to be making more. I am really happy with $600 like for a weekend, that's great. Um, I think sometimes I hear what other people make at markets and they make tons of money and then sometimes I hear about people making less. So I feel like I'm kind of somewhere in the middle right now and I am very, very happy with that. Do not get me wrong. Please don't think that I'm not grateful because I totally am. I'm very, very fortunate and very, very happy that I get to do this part time. And I'm also very happy that you watched all the way till the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. 
please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna make more market videos this year and more studio vlogs. So yeah, stick around if you wanna see what happens. And I really hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And Prim is about to jump up here, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye. There she is. <laughs> We're gonna say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.